Performing a complete restore defaults your Samsung laptop to the condition it was in when a complete backup was made. If a complete backup was never made, you can restore the PC to its initial out-of-the-box condition with Samsung Recovery Solution 4. Please note, a complete restore erases all current files, settings, programs, and other data and replaces them with the files, settings, programs, and other data contained in the complete backup. If any programs were installed after the complete backup, those will still need to be reinstalled. Additionally, if you have data that you need to save, we recommend creating a data backup before performing a complete restore. To perform a complete restore, first power on your laptop and press the F4 key when the Samsung logo appears. If power is lost during a data backup, you will have to start the process from the beginning. So remember to connect it to its power source. A license agreement will open, so read over the terms and click Agree to continue. Samsung Recovery Solution 4 will now open. Now click the Restore icon and then click Complete Restore. There is a list of backups created using Complete Backup and the expected time needed to perform a restore with each backup. If no backups have been created, then the Computer Initial Status Backup is the only item listed. Click the backup you would like to use for this restore and then click Next. Samsung Recovery Solution 4 prompts you to restart the computer to continue. Click OK to restart the computer. At this point, remember that if you have data on Drive C that you do not want to lose, stop now and perform a data backup. The laptop will reboot and you will be prompted to delete all data on Drive C. Click Yes to proceed. A progress bar appears showing the current transfer speed, the amount of data copied, elapsed time, and estimated total time to completion. After the complete restore is complete, you will be prompted to restart your laptop. Click OK to restart. Once the laptop reboots, the restore process is complete. Please note, you will need to perform an additional restart for Windows to apply the changes. Depending on the model, you will also receive a hyperspace notification. Click Reinstall to overwrite the current copy of hyperspace. Click Uninstall to remove hyperspace from the computer, and click Cancel to leave hyperspace unchanged.